Our next speaker is Roy Chen. He um, is an accomplished medical device engineer and inventor. Among his accomplishments are uh, being the founder of AFX, which was acquired by Guidant in 2004, and Cardiothoracic Systems, which was acquired by Guidant in 1999. So please welcome Roy Chen. So I give you some familiar faces on the screen. These are some past good entrepreneurs of their own time. And, um, and I only meet one of those persons on the, on the screen. And uh, one of the things I want to share with you is the characters to become an entrepreneur is how to fail fast. Thomas Edison's didn't design the light bulb in one day. It takes 1,000 times or more of failures. And being an innovator in the medical field, I have designed many, many instrumentations to do surgery, from knee and shoulder arthroscopy, to laparoscopic surgery, to heart surgery, now onto a minimal invasive for spine surgery. It failed many, many more times before I make it to work. Now it has treated over 3,000 patients, and you feel the sense of accomplishment that the failures is a way to get to success. So the first thing is you got to fail fast, and a lot of I'll get to the mountain climbers later. On. A lot of people want to do things the beautiful way. They always try to decorate the tents and, uh, when they are climbing the mountains and not to focus on solving the problems. And when you get to the perfections, you find out that things doesn't work. So what do you do? You spend the whole time doing all the great things, the beautiful decorations, and it did not solve the problems that you want to solve at the beginning. Then what do you do? You either cry or go back to ground zero and, um, and end up that uh, you don't want to do it again. That's the huge disappointment for a lot of people. And you hear a lot of successes in the field, right? Facebook, Google, Yahoo, Johnson & Johnson, all the large companies, successful companies out there. But what you have not heard are 95% or more of the failure out there. Why didn't they make it? And a lot of the things are what I'm talking today. And they just do not have the right things, the right characteristics to get a job done. And even as much publicity you heard about the Facebook, they still do not have end products to sell to the, to, to make the money. So, and that's the reason on how to fail fast. They do it the, the, the one way that the, a lot of people want to do is fail fast and whether they will succeed, it's up to the management team to solve the problems. 
The next one is, I want to mention about the mountain climbing. I think I gave a talk in one of your uh, senior class a, a few months ago. This is my favorite because to become an entrepreneur, you have to own a characteristic to climb a mountain. And that's the next slide I want to show to you. Next. So a lot of us talk about creating a successful company. And when I talk about determinations, the communications, the belief, the teamwork, good attitude, discipline, hard work, all the things to become a, to run a successful company. These are just small little things to get there. There are tactical things to get there. But my top four favorite, every time I interview, I hire somebody. I can never inter interview an attitude of an individual. I can only interview the intelligence side, the knowledge side. But attitude to me is one of the most critical things in getting a job done. Because attitude can solve the other four things I want the job done. is the passion, the commitment, taking the ownership beyond and beyond, and no whining. Every time I go to work, some of my people said, hey Roy, I cannot do that. I cannot do that, that's difficult. Well, this part of the whining, so, so I keep reminding them that's not what I hire you for. So they walk away and come back. Okay, Roy, I got some proposal for you. Here is what I like to do, and here are the reasons I like to do things, and here are the risks of doing it, and here are the things I think my proposal makes sense to us. There you go. That's exactly what I talk about. Creating a successful company to become more of an entrepreneur of themselves. <clears throat> to run a company, I cannot become the only entrepreneur in the company. Everybody in the company hopefully can have an entrepreneur mindset. Do I expect them to have the same characteristic? No. But hopefully, I can change the way they think about doing something right. And going back to what I said earlier, fail fast. 10 decorations, fail fast. That's a takeaway message for today because the reason I want them to fail fast is because every time my engineer showed me a prototype of something, they said, Roy, I want to make it so perfect, so beautiful, so in the hand of a physician, it works the first time. And I keep telling them, your technology, your design will never work the first time, at least in my past 24 years of experience. It never works the first time in the operating room. It always requires iterations, redesign. There's always something from the OR. The doctor saying that I need something longer, more powerful, shorter, sharper, better image. There's always something like this from the field. So don't make it perfect. Just do it to the point where it's clinically acceptable, safe, and let's get it out. Then as soon as we get the feedback, we can make it better. So that's one of the points about failing fast. And when I share my experience with some of the physicians, wow, this is a great product, Roy. 
that I share with them, I have failed 52 times before I make it to work. 52 times before it really works clinically. So, all the nights and days that we work in the lab, we work on the bench, the fair, they do not see it. But the doctors, the physicians, all the engineers who see that, they appreciate how much work we are putting to make it clinically acceptable. So back to the mountain climbers. I mentioned about no wine. The most important thing about going up the mountain is when you go up the mountain, there's no turning back. You encounter a lot of obstacles. The avalanche, the bears. <laughs> the route is never straight. And we got to figure out how to overcome the obstacles, the crisis. One person told me once, success is about overcoming crisis. And I thought that's very, very true. Success is not about not making mistakes. Success is about overcoming crisis. And this is part of the things about going up the mountain because I keep telling my guys, my teammates, my workers at the company, once you go up, you're not allowed to go down because the bridges behind are going to be destroyed. There's only way to get up. And when we get to the top of a mountain, that's when the company is going IPO, the company is being acquired, and that defines success. And some of my engineers come from me from other companies that we have sold to other companies. And my engineers told other people that come to work for the company this time around. And he said very well once that I still remember three years ago. Guys, just enjoy the journey because this is going to be fun. And I still remember that. And I think that the, one of the biggest things about becoming an entrepreneur is that you got to love what you do. And that's the passion. If you go into a job, you do not love what you do, then you might as well not to do the job because your supervisor, your other uh, teammates will not enjoy you being around. You got to love what you do. And that's passion of being part of the entrepreneur. Thank you very much.